Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and the day has come for me to share yet another trading plan for this week with you. Now, uh, I just want to say that this is not the only plan I will be following throughout this week, uh, but this is just one of them. Uh, you know, we share uh, one of uh, our trading plans each week with you for free and uh, for all the rest you, you will have to subscribe for our newsletter if you want, of course. Uh, we try to pick up a good trading plan with good uh, profitable possibilities uh, and as you know in this video I'm going to cover a few time frames we're going to talk about the expectations on this pair and uh, where would our possible entries be uh, last week I shared a trading plan with you with, which gave some good opportunities uh, but we are going to talk a little bit more about it tomorrow in the weekly recap so let's get started with this trading plan what you currently see on the screen is the H4 uh, time frame of the USD Canadian dollar currency pair. Uh, this trading plan will be uh, focused on the short term side, so it is uh, suitable for day traders or even scalpers. Uh, you can always take a swing trade on it, but it shouldn't exceed two to three days because, uh, as I said, the plan is short term and uh, uh, the bigger the time span it is when you have an open position, the higher the chance uh, the price will reverse. So, on the H4 time frame, uh, what we can see is the price has reached this H4 resistance area. You can see how uh, currently the price has been consolidating for a few days. Uh, actually, sorry about that. Yeah, for, from Friday till today, so it's like three days already. Uh, you can see that just before that we had a huge uptrend wave here and actually the whole uptrend started all the way down from here so uh, first of all this uptrend is kind of old so uh, my expectations is that sooner or later we'll see a reversal uh, probably a new downtrend and this is what we will be looking to take advantage of on this pair now, uh, this H4 resistance, you can see how the price uh, behaved and acted uh, when it was reached here as a support. Let me draw so it's easier for you to see it. You can see how this area acted as a support here, acted as a resistance here, and even a few times here, although it was broken, uh, still there were some uh, short-term uh, reactions from this area and that's what we are looking for here. So. Uh, in this case, my expectations are for the price to bounce from here and to form a downtrend wave here, at least to this H4 support target, which is uh, actually our first target. Uh, you can see how the price behaved there. Uh, if we move back, for example, here, here, even here, uh, for a short period of periods of time it uh, stopped so that means it stopped uh, H1, M30 and 15 trends so since our uh, entry would be placed on those lower time frames uh, this is a good target to look for and the second target is this H4 support down here uh, this is a more long term for those of you who uh, decide to leave their, their trades as swing trades also, I have outlined an H4 resistance area uh, two here, which is basically the uh, highest price, the highest top in the past uh, few months, which the price reached. So even if we see a break of this H4 resistance, I would expect for uh, the pair to stop on this H4 resistance and for there, from there to move down. Now let's turn the H1 time frame. Ah, I just forgot to tell you on the H4 that this red line represents uh, the last top the price made over here. So on the H1 we can see that the price is currently moving in a range formation. Uh, already made a few bounces from top and bottom. So here two bounces and here as well as here at this moment. Uh, <clears throat> and this, this range is just between the H4 resistance area and this uh, line that represents uh, the H4 previous top. So if we uh, take a square 
and uh, place it around that range formation here or consolidation. Uh, you can see where uh, the top of the range is and the bottom of the range is. Um, in this case, also, I want to turn on the Bollinger Bands and as you can see, uh, they're confirming this range with a squeeze. So it is a very good spot if we see a break of the uh, bottom of the range right here, as this break will not only break the range and the Bollinger squeeze, but it will also break the H4 previous top, which is a very strong confirmation that the price is ready to go down and we should take advantage of that. Uh, as I said, here will be our target one and here our target two. Uh, that means that probably here we'll take some percentage uh, of the trade, of the profits. Of course, uh, we'll close that only if we see a sign of that uh, a reversal is starting uh, and then the rest of the position will be uh, left floating all the way down to here. In the meantime, we can still look for uh, short-term entries, uh, day trades on the M15 or even M5 if you feel uh, trading on it, if you feel uh, good trading on it. Uh, again, if here we see a break of the top of this range, I wouldn't immediately jump into a buy trade because um, the break of the top of the range wouldn't mean a break of the H4 resistance. So I would wait for a secure break of the H4 resistance area. Then I would expect a slight uh, correction down to that H4 resistance area, which will now turn into an H4 support and then a move up all the way to the second H4 resistance area. And here uh, we can place an entry for a buy trade. Again, uh, I'm talking about uh, both way scenarios uh, just because this uh, plan is mainly focused on day trading. So uh, it doesn't matter on, uh, in which direction uh, the price goes. We should be uh, on the watch to make some profits. Uh, this plan will be posted on TradingView. Uh, there in the description, you can find all the zones in numbers. Uh, also, I'm going to share with you live signals on our Telegram channel and on Twitter. So uh, join us if you still haven't. And expect my weekly recap tomorrow where we are going to talk a little bit about the plan I shared with you last week and uh, my expectations uh, for the future of that plan. Thank you very much and uh, our team wishes you a profitable week.